Good morning everyone. I am Tanya Adhikorala. Today I am going to present about what is product differentiation and what role does it play in the determination of price under monopolistic competition. First of all, we will learn about what is product differentiation. Product differentiation is a marketing strategy designed to distinguish a company's products or services from the competition. Successful product differentiation involves identifying and communicating the unique qualities of product or company while highlighting the distinct differences between that product or company and its competitors. Product differentiation goes hand in hand with developing a strong value proportion so that a product or service is attractive to a target market or audience. If successful, product differentiation can create a competitive advantage for the product seller and ultimately build brand awareness. Examples of differentiated products might include the fastest high-speed internet service or the most gas-efficient electric vehicle on the market. Now, we'll learn about monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a type of imperfect competition such that many producers sell products that are differentiated from one another as goods but not perfect substitutes such as from branding, quality or location. In monopolistic competition, a firm takes the prices charged by its rivals as given and ignores the impact of its own prices on the prices of other firms. Unlike in perfect competition, firms that are monopolitically competitive maintain spare capacity. Models of monopolistic competition are often used to model industries. Textbook examples of industries with market structures similar to monopolistic competition include restaurants, cereal, clothing, shoes and service industries in large cities. Monopolistic competition is different from a monopoly. A monopoly exists when a person or entity is the exclusive supplier of a good or service in the, mar in the market. The demand is inelastic and the market is insufficient. Monopolistic competitive markets have products that are high differentiated meaning that there is a perception that the goods are different from reasons often than price. Have many firms providing the goods or service. Firms can freely enter and exit in the long run. Firms can make decisions independently. There is some degree of market power, meaning producers have some control over the price. And buyers and sellers have imperfect information. One of the defining traits of monopolitically competitive market is that there is a significant amount of non-price competition. It means product differentiation is key for any monopolitically competitive firm. Product differentiation is the process of distinguish a product or service from others to make it more attractive to a target market. Although research in the niche market may result in challenging a product in order to improve differentiation, the changes themselves are not differentiation. Marketing or product differentiation is the process of distributing the differences between products or services or the resulting list of differences. Differentiation is not the process of creating the differences between the products. Product differentiation is done in order to demonstrate the unique aspects of firms product and to create a sense of value. In economics, successful product differentiation is in consists with the conditions of perfect competition, which require products of competing firms can be perfect substitutes. Consumers don't need to know everything about the product or differentiation to work. Now we learn about the product differentiation types. Actually, there are three types of product differentiation. The first one is simple or the mixed product differentiation. It means the products are differentiated based on a variety of characteristics. And we'll learn about the second one. It means the horizontal one. The products are differentiated based on a single characteristics, but consumers are not clear on which products is of higher quality. 
and the third one or the last dif product differentiation type is vertical. The products are differentiated based on a single characteristic and consumers are clear on which product is of higher quality. And differentiation occurs because buyers perceive a difference. Drivers of differentiation include functional aspects of the product or service, how it is distributed and marketed, and who buys it. The major sources of product differentiation are as follows. Differences in quality, which are usually accompanied by differences in price, differences in functional features or design, ignorance of buyers regarding the essential characteristics and qualities of goods they are purchasing, sales promotion activities of sellers, particularly advertising, differences in availability, for an example, timing and location. Now we'll move to learn about the features under monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition refers to the market situation in which many producers produce goods which are close substitutes of one another. There are some important distinguished features of monopolistic competition. They are product differentiation, existence of many firms supplying the market, freedom of entry and exit, the demand curve facing a firm under monopolistic competition is a downward stopping curve. The first one. Product differentiation in monopolistic competition. In perfect competition where there is only one homogeneous commodity. In monopolistic competition, there is a differentiation of products. In monopolistic competition, products are not homogeneous or they only remote substitutes. These are products produced by competing monopolistics. They have separate identity, brand, logos, patents, quality and such other product features. Product differentiation does not mean that goods are completely different. And the second one is existence of many firms supplying the market. Under monopolistic competition, there is fairly large number of sellers, let's say 25 to 70. Each individual firm has relatively small part of the total market so that each has a very limited control over the price of the product and each firm determines its own price output policy without considering the reaction of rival firms. And now this will discuss about the price determination under monopolistic competition. Under monopolistic competition, the firm will be in equilibrium position when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So long the marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, the seller will find it profitable to expand his output and if the MR is le less than MC, it is obvious he will reduce his output where the MR is equal to MC. In short run, there are the firm will be in equilibrium when it's maximizing profits when MR equal to MC. Now we will learn about the demand curve. The demand curve in the monopolistic competitive market slopes downward, which has several important implications for firms in this market. As you can see from this chart, the demand curve marked in red slopes downward significantly elastic demand. Now we'll move to know about the short run equilibrium under monopolistic competition. As you can see from the chart, the firm will produce the quantity where the marginal cost curve intersects with the marginal revenue curve. The price is set based on where the QS falls on the average revenue curve. The profit the firm makes in the short term is represented by the grey rectangle or the quantity produced multiplied by the differences between the price and the average cost of producing the goods. Now we we'll learn about the long run equilibrium in monopolistic competition. As you can see in this picture, in the long run, a firm in the monopolistic competitive market will product the amounts of goods where the long run marginal cost curve intersects marginal revenue MR. The price will be set where the quantity produced falls on the average revenue curve. The result is that the long term the firm will break even. So here's the end of my presentation. As I told you before, I have told you about the product differentiation and the role in the determination of price under monopolistic competition. So I think you all gain some kind of knowledge about the product differentiation and the role of 
price and monopolistic competition. So, thank you very much.